Hello everyone, this is Chris with StickerFab. Today I'm going to be talking about the trunk protection on the 2024 Land Cruiser that we're going to offer. A couple of people have asked for this and of course we have noticed it with our vehicle. As soon as we got it, we noticed all of the soft plastics here in the back. And I knew that if we use this vehicle, which we do as a daily driver, there's going to be stuff bouncing all around. And when you take off real hard, stuff will wind up impacting this plastic panel in the back. So I'm basically going to walk you through some tips and tricks on how to get this installed. I do recommend that you do this as a two person install. I'm going to do it alone, but that's because my wife, my brother-in-law, they're filling orders. I need to be filling orders as well. I'm not going to go through the full install, but I'm going to be, give you just the basic rundown. We've done installs like this, like the install of the seatbelt protection panel that goes up in there. I don't know if you can see it in the screen, but it has that black and white topographic map right there. I'll probably do other designs right here, like an American flag or something neat, but let's start with this. I have things to do, places to be, and one of those places is going to our local Toyota dealer where we picked up this vehicle and trying to color match other colored vehicles. You want to do this install in 70 degree or higher weather. It's like 89 degrees right now. I am going to burn. So I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to point those rear AC vents towards the back. When we get this installed, I'm going to have this rear hatch right about here. I want it as vertical as possible. I'm going to have interior detailer. I'm going to use a microfiber, clean this entire area. And we're going to have lots of sick fab application fluid because this material is really super sticky. I just put it on here. I probably should take it off as soon as possible, but it's super sticky and you want to spray it. As soon as you start pulling it off of the backing, start spraying it because you don't want it to stick to itself. Once it sticks to itself, it's going to be pretty much done. It'll leave adhesive if it sticks to the top part of it. And if it sticks adhesive on adhesive, you might as well just ball it up. We'll also spray Sikafab fluid all the way over here. And I'm going to keep a squeegee around so we can get some of these bubbles off, but it'll be a lot of massaging going on and working those bubbles out. So we cover up this soft plastic panel. All right, let me talk to you guys briefly about what I did. As you can hear, I have the AC kicking back here. I laid out all of our vinyl. I started peeling up one side, sprayed it all the way down, basically took the whole thing off, but sprayed as I went so that it wouldn't stick to itself. I also sprayed the back of this entire panel. And then like a dummy, I didn't do the install with another person. So you basically get it up here and note that I have this closed about yay far. And you kind of tack it up. So it'll be wet and you tack it up just enough to hold itself kind of in place. And then honestly, you need to focus kind of in this area to get the proper alignment. That's going to be the easiest place to start your alignment and then work your way out from the center. You can use your hands or you can use a felt tip squeegee, which I highly recommend. So the panels kind of curve down the middle. So I'm going to push right through the center. Kind of spread all this liquid out, get it out from under the vinyl. Kind of meant spread the vinyl out. You can see a pocket right there. It's already starting to dry because it's so hot. But I'm going to continue to do that, work my way out to each of the edges. Of course, when you get to the edges, if you need to peel it up with clean hands, go ahead and do so and push it back down and spread out that vinyl so it doesn't crease. Of course, I took this center cut out and I put it aligned the proper way because if you flip it over, you could be able to tell that these lines don't follow through the pattern. It would be incorrect and place it right in there. I did that dry, pretty easy, small piece to do. All right. If you're not a huge fan of waiting for the edges to dry up or it's a little bit cool where you are, go ahead and take a heat gun or hair dryer and you can apply light amounts of heat to the outside. Pretty much rule of thumb is I treat the vinyl like I treat my hands. If it's going to burn my hands, I'm not going to do it. So I treat the vinyl like it was my hands. And if it's too hot for my hands, 
I consider it too hot for the vinyl. We're not really trying to stretch anything out that much. We're just trying to dry up the edges because once it's all dry and you're in a warm environment, they will stick. Now this piece right here, I kind of made a large border around it because my last install wasn't even the same as this install, even though it was the same exact piece. You're always gonna have like micro alignment issues. I could get my hands under here, but I couldn't really get my hands in under any other place on this trim. I tried to kind of give it a little pull and it didn't come off that easily. So I wasn't gonna make it to where you guys had to take that off and put it under there because I didn't want some people to break clips while taking that out. But overall, looking pretty good. I'll continue to work the edges. And if you guys wanna see more photos of this, just go on our website at stickerfab.com. It's not all the way down, but let me raise this up. So that will protect against small objects flying and hitting this, whether you carry around car seat carriers, uh, off-road equipment, recovery gear, whatever. Uh, it'll make your rear look just a little better. So, like I said, go to our website at stickerfab.com. Please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already, and hit the bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we're coming out with for the 2024 and up Toyota Land Cruiser.